Okay, Trooper 3, we have eyes on him. Just so you know, he's uh, 1.2 miles to the uh, due east of Jeff's Road. For the troop that's uh, ahead of the canine there, just off to your left-hand side, that's where we thought it looked narrowest. What kind of shapes he in? Do we know? Well, we're still head to toe, so I'm assuming he's probably pretty wet as well. Yes, ma'am. Could you request uh, Coast Guard to our location where Trooper Three is uh, for a left out 60-year-old um, confined to uh, a swampy waterway, unable to reach him by foot? And Trooper 3, if you can get back uh, far enough from that Parrot Road, snow, Snowball Road area, uh, it's less than a mile, it's about uh, seven-tenths of a mile to get to where he's located from the furthest point on that road. Okay. Uh, if you've got a good eye on him, what we'll do, we'll make our way back, and then we'll try to approach it from that other side. All right, Trooper 3, you guys are uh, making some pretty good uh, headway there. If you just continue that way uh, to our spotlight, and we'll uh, guide you in as needed. For uh, 7214 there, I don't know if you guys can, you might be too far away for him to hear, but he's kind of trying to push his way towards the, uh, the river there, like he wants to cross it. I don't know if you guys can get his attention in any way to turn him around and go back the other way clear uh if he can't walk steady we're gonna need a few more people to carry him out of here so he's standing up and kind of milling about uh we tried to get on the pa i don't know if you could hear us or not um to tell him to stay put but he, i mean he looks standing up and healthy i just don't know what his condition is to you know go a mile through some thick marsh or not for the units on the ground out there he is uh, six foot five about 250. He's gonna put himself in another predicament if he crosses over that, because he's gonna have to go across another huge body uh, of swamp. So we gotta get him turned around somehow. Clear, I've got contact with him. Do we have any word on airlift out of here? He said there's no chance he's gonna be able to walk the rest of the way out of here. Are you with him or just in earshot? I'm right next to him, talking to him, holding him up. He advised we are almost up to our knees in a stream, river. Okay, I want you to try to get him to a piece of high ground. It's where at least a somewhere where it's dry clear he's uh he's rested probably 10 15 minutes he says that he's willing to give it a try to hike out of here 